255 here. Today we're talking about Final Fantasy VII Integrate ending with Yuffie and of course Zack. Let's first start with the word integrate. The word integrate has a specific meaning and one meaning is several intermediate points in a process or evolution. And that's what this DLC does. It brings you to the middle point of where Final Fantasy VII Remake 2 was headed or whatever Square decides to name it. One bit of good news regarding the FF7 Integrates ending is that the universe of Final Fantasy VII may have just officially started expanding because we see that Weiss, or Weiss, a character from the 2006 game Dirge of Cerebrus, and the Final Fantasy VII series made it in, suggesting that all movies or games included in the Final Fantasy VII universe can be involved. The Advent Children universe seems to be already involved when you look at the scene from Final Fantasy VII Remake's ending and Advent Children's ending, which means we might be seeing Kadaj, Yazoo, and Laz added to the game's lore. And honestly, as antagonists, I really enjoyed what they did with Advent Children and those three, and I think they'll make a great addition to the universe. And another thing that's exciting, and I definitely talked about it in the previous video, is that Zack being alive was the most exciting part of Final Fantasy VII Remake. A lot of people was questioning whether that was the case or not, and guess what? I was right. The developers seemed to hold in on that. And look what we have, Zack is alive. Or at least he appears to be. Again, they still could be getting us, they could be setting us up. It just could just be, um, we're seeing extra events take place prior to uh, Cloud getting there, because Cloud is not with him. Nobody's talking about where Cloud is in, is in all of this. So they could be trying to get us again. But right now it does indeed appear to be that Zack is alive. With Zack being alive, we could have many additional versions of the game, DLC or universes added to the game's lore. For example, they could have a Final Fantasy VII game where Zack meets up with Barrett instead of Cloud. Or maybe they have an ending where they both meet up with Barrett. Or maybe Zack ends up dating Tifa and they date, and then they meet Ares again. And now there's like this ex-jealousy girlfriend thing going on. I mean, you can get pretty fun with this. Now, on the other hand, because as you can tell, I'm on the more positive side of uh, Zach being alive. Some people are so excited about that. Why? Because they say that Zach being alive means that Cloud's development doesn't happen, that he changes dramatically as a character. And I'm going to say, safe to say, no. I would argue no. Many of the events that end up changing Cloud during... Final Fantasy 7 happen during Final Fantasy 7. They don't happen prior to Final Fantasy 7. Yes, when Zack dies, Cloud does undergo a major change. Yes, his encounter with Sephiroth nearly killed him, and in return, he did the same to Sephiroth, but many of the things that added to Cloud's personality took place after the start of Final Fantasy 7. For example, Cloud watches Jesse, Biggs, and Wedge die, which further cement his hate for Shinra. After they die, he meets Ares, and yes, believing he is Zack, that causes him to present himself different. But it's still Cloud's version of Zack. Anyone who has watched Crisis Core or seen Zack for a long period of time knows that Cloud is nowhere near as cheerful or full of energy as Zack is. So the Zack we see from Cloud isn't even Zack, it's Cloud's version of Zack. Anyway, during the events of Final Fantasy VII, Cloud meets Ares, and that changes him. At Calm, Cloud still remembers Sephiroth burning down his town, and that still remains true whether Zack is alive or not. Sephiroth still attacked Tifa, and that remains true whether Zack is alive or not. Sephiroth is responsible for Cloud's mom's death, and that also remains true, even if Zack is dead. 
Sephiroth manipulates Cloud into giving him the black materia, which makes Cloud question himself more. Cloud falls into the life stream, and that also helps change him. When Sephiroth kills Ares, this also helps change him. And yes, he finally remembers who he actually was. But truly, when you think about it, did that change the way he reacted to the rest of the characters in any shape, form, or fashion? Uh, truly, if you think about it, it didn't. And honestly speaking, and this might be controversial, some of y'all might call this cat or whatever, but honestly speaking, Cloud's major change happened before he um, left Midgar. Once Cloud realized that Sephiroth was alive, forget about Shinra, that was the real threat. And Cloud almost assumed leadership from that point on. Once you get to Calm, it was no longer about just stopping Shinra. That was, of course, it was mainly a focus. And for me, or even looking at the game, not just for me, but when you look at the game and you examine, that was one of Cloud's biggest points. He gave that impassioned speech after Ares died of, he must stop Sephiroth. But truthfully, he was saying that back at Calm. So, Zack dying... Yeah, yes, it, it does add another dimension to Cloud, but if you really look at Final Fantasy VII, the original, now they might change this in a remake, but if you really look at Final Fantasy VII, the original, and you examine Cloud's interactions with the characters and the environment, his speech, his mannerisms, none of that changed dramatically or either too much after finding out about Cloud, uh, after finding out about Zack. Now yes, for the sake of the original game, it was a nice twist. And it added development to the story, but it didn't necessarily add development to Cloud. Right? It did help him become honest. The guy's a trauma victim. We get that. Plus, again, Cloud's version of Zack, completely different from regular Zack. Zack was cheerful, upbeat, smiled a lot, and Cloud is, he, he has such low energy, most people call him emo Cloud, right? Even in avid children, he, he's looked at that way. But he was he started off Final Fantasy VII that way. All right, I want to wrap up this discussion discussing two ideas regarding the ending that might be interesting. Well, for one, if Zack is alive that does give us an opportunity to see a new version of cloud because that was not something we saw in the new game or in the original or in avid children or even in kingdom hearts for that matter and we can also see different versions of other characters including sephiroth the developers of final fantasy 7 included four different versions of the characters supposedly from screenrant.com we read four types of sephiroth that appear in the game are in an illusion only Cloud can see, a black hooded man, black hood, that looks like Sephiroth, a flashback version, and an unknown existence that Cloud and the others perceive as Sephiroth. The translation of Final Fantasy VII Remake Ultimania elaborates on exactly when each of these forms appear. Which brings me to my next theory, what if, and this is a big what if, the devs a Final Fantasy VII Remake are trying to create a villain that will equal or even surpass Sephiroth. I don't think it's possible. Sephiroth appears to be the icon of the JRPG villains to the point that people who have never played Final Fantasy VII know him. Recently, he brought his despair into the Smash universe. But what if they are trying to surpass Sephiroth for finding equal for him? That would immediately launch the remake into an even greater legendary hype. What if they decided to bring the ancients back as an actual civilization and they decided to wage a war between the Cetra and humans? They say the Cetra are wiped out, but in the remake, they allow for Cloud and the others to actually see images of what the Promised Land might look like. And what if in the Promised Land, a find more remaining Cetra besides Aerith. And who is to say that Genova has to be the only crisis from the sky? They can get really creative if they like. 
Anyway, these are just a few of my thoughts, deep minds. Tell me what your thoughts are regarding Final Fantasy VII's remake ending and possibilities. You believe Zack's death ultimately changes Cloud? If you do, let leave some comments and reasons below. I would even take some videos. I might make a part two to this. Anyway, love y'all all. This is DeepMind255. Out one.